Hello guys and girls, and welcome back to Order of the Thorn, the King's Challenge. So last time we pretty much just started the game. We didn't get very far. Well, we visited the general store, dude. But let's continue exploring the village now, or town, or whatever it is. Ooh. That's a nice shot. Scattered around the library are stacks of books. Some of which appear to have been stacked for a long time, judging by the dust collected on them. Alright, let me just quickly turn down the music a little bit. Yeah, this is fine, right? Mm. Scattered around the Oh, it's the same. Uh, I want to leave the librarian for the last person that I interact with in this room. Let me see. Just stacks of book everywhere. Ladder. How oh, can we sign our name? There's a book left open on the table. Nah, that'll be random. This book appears to be a history of the royal family. Oh? Flicking through the pages, you see family genealogies going back almost a millennia. Ooh, that's interesting. It says that some of the royal family in ages past could transform themselves into the shapes of other people or creatures. <gasps> they were shapeshifters. Whoa! Is that it? This book of flick that. I guess so. Finn the Bard. It's Yay. you, Finn the Bard. Yay! All right. I wonder if we can go upstairs. Probably, right? There's another ladder. There are two rickety ladders standing against the downstairs bookshelves. They don't look like they've been used in years. You don't need any books from the high shelves, and besides, you don't think the ladders would hold your weight. Um, did the narrator just call us fat? Hello there, librarian. Can't be. Ah, another challenger. Good, good. Can you help me locate the queen at all? Sorry, I can't. I can assist you if you come across something you've not seen before. There's sure to be a book in here about it, but otherwise you're on your own. Well, that's good to know. I can get help if I need it. I can tell you that you might want to have a look at some of the books in here. There's an open book on the desk upstairs, The Book of the Fairies, which will tell you more about the realm if you need it. Thank you very much. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, who are you? Do you, do you work here? Who are you? I'm Elder, <laughs> the librarian of this magnificent library. That's your library. name? Your name is Elder? What's with all the books laying around? <laughs> oh, there's so many books in here that I don't have room for them all. I'm getting a bit on in the years now, too, and lugging them up and down the stairs really hurts my back. Not many people are interested in learning history nowadays. The only regular clients I get are the occasional monk or knight of the Order of the Thorn. Is there anything that might help in my quest to find the Queen? Oh, I'm sure there is, but you'll need to be more specific if I'm to be able to direct you to the right place. As I said before, there's a book upstairs that may be of assistance, but otherwise you're going to need to know what to ask me about if I'm to be able to help you. Okay. What can you tell me about Cranley Wing? Oh, this is a marvelous and magical place. The center of the fairy realm itself. I feel blessed every day that I live here. We even have a monastery of the Order of the Thorn in town. There is also a beautiful monument to the fairy people on the Isle of the Honored. Okay. Um, I like his voice. It's a bit goofy and a bit silly. It's cheerful. Yay! What can you tell me about the Order of the Thorn? The Order of the Thorn is a venerable order of knights and monks who have pledged their lives to be an active force of good in this world. So, they're a religious order? Yes, they serve a deity known as the Unknown God. The Unknown God? If he's unknown, how do they know how to serve him? A good question, and one you could probably ask the monk at the monastery. I think their unknown god isn't a specific deity as such, but instead is a placeholder for other gods whose names and nature aren't known. That's only my personal theory, though, and it's probably best not to repeat this to a member of the Order. Of course, most people just see the Order as benevolent knights and monks who help others. 
Thanks. That's really very interesting. They live by a very strict and time-honored code of conduct as well. There's a new monk at the monastery now, too. Yeah, he keeps talking about this monk. What can you tell me about the monk? A brother Kunchen arrived in the village a month or so ago, and he's been busy repairing the monastery since. The place had been abandoned for the last few years since Brother Choden passed away. Bless his memory. I don't know much about Brother Kunchen from before he arrived. You'd best ask him yourself. Hmm. Well, I guess we don't know him. We met Brother Oin, was it? Do you know the Order's uh, code of conduct? Indeed I do. Here it is. To protect the weak and defenseless. To give help or assistance, especially in times of difficulty, to anyone who requires. To despise monetary reward. To fight for the welfare of all. To obey those placed in authority. To persevere to the end in any enterprise begun. To never refuse a challenge from an equal. Wow, they're pretty strict. But honorable. What can you tell me about the Isle of the Honored? The Isle is a sacred place for the fairy realm. It is a cemetery for those who have died defending the realm against its enemies. If you get the chance, you should certainly visit there. The last time we added names there, it was when Lord Sinister attempted a war. What can you tell me of Lord Sinister? Yeah, who now, the hell is he? there's a name that conjures up images of the past. He was a powerful warlord, and rumored to be a great warlock as well. He sought to control all the land under his direct order. When he was alive, it was the last time the realm was involved in war. It was said he was killed by a fairy warrior named Feolan, who, I believe, is participating in this year's challenge with you. Okay, see ya. Goodbye, librarian. Thank you for your assistance. No problem, my boy. Knowledge is power. Yeah, that's what they keep saying. Right, let's go upstairs. Let's not bother him anymore. Ooh. Some more stacks of books. Uh, even more... Bookshelf. These Just shelves are stacked with many interesting books. Oh. The Book of Fairies. Let's have a look at this first. This looks like an interesting book. Divine Secrets of the Recurrent Suggestion by Michael Hartman. This looks like an interesting book. Steadfast by John H. Stake. Oh. This looks like an infamy versus glory. The Eternal Question by Gareth of Tear. Oh, Tear. That reference. Yay. This looks like an intro to Hell and Back, Fighting Demons, A Guide to Marriage, by Irenaeus <laughs> of Codexia. Are this there any more? This looks like an, the mind and how to mold it, a teacher slash hypnotist guide, <laughs> by Terinus Tiger. This looks like it, the great guide to the dragons of Yuir, by Winding Wei. Right, one more this maybe? Infamy versus Ah, oh, okay. It repeats. Nice. <laughs> you thumb through the book, reading the beautiful script written within. You briefly read a bit about the history of the fairy realm, and how the magic power of the great tree of Cran Naoi not only protects this valley, but other surrounding kingdoms. An old map falls out, which you quickly pick up. Ooh, did we get a map? Yay, nice! Uh, I guess we're here? That was the place, right? Having studied the map of the fairy kingdom, you feel you know your way around the kingdom a bit better. This is the book of fairies that the librarian told you about. It contains the history of the fairy realm and a map of the land. Uh, oh, and we actually have a map now. You take a look at the map. Kran Nam. Uh, do we... Pixie tree. Are there all of the places? Docks? Swamp? Um, Eastern border. Gideon's Grove. And Old Rose Garden. 
nice. Western border. <laughs> All right. I think. Can this we? This is Cran Naoi, the oh. central city for the fairy kingdom. Oh yeah, let's do this. This is a tree where many pixies are known to live. All right. This is the entrance to the swamplands that lie beyond. There is a ferry at these docks that will take one to the Isle of the Honored. Yeah, they keep talking about that. We should go there. This is the eastern border of the fairy realm. This road leads to the kingdom of Rosette and Stoneland beyond that. The southern part of the fairy woods is often known as Gideon's Grove. Named after an old fairy king. I guess all of this is Gideon's Grove. There is an old rose garden here, where the flowers grow untended. This is the western border of the realm. Beyond these borders lies the Spider Kingdom, Dolea, and the Mirror Mountains. Spider Kingdom? Sounds ominous. But I bet it isn't. Okay, we've seen enough. Um, did we... A beautiful anything? stained glass window depicting a colorful cross symbol looks over the top floor of the library. Oh, can we go closer? Get better you look at it? would never smash that window. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. I just wanted to touch it. Mm. Librarian. This old map oh. fell out of the Book of Fairies. Oh, please, feel free to keep it. It's just an old copy I made for just such an occasion. Thank you very much. I'm sure this will be helpful. Yeah, of course. So how about I thank you properly? Um, what was it? There we go. Does it have any effect? Such a nice song, and played so. No. Oh. <laughs> he didn't care. Uh. Uh. What? What is this? Ah. Okay. I guess I can't check it. Well, at least it's a nice tune. Such a nice song. Yeah, he doesn't care. Okay, then. What? What was that? Ah. Uh, you really don't. It's a bird. It said something. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Wait, could you go further left? Or does it lead outside? Go. You run. quickly brush any dust off your clothes. You plan on meeting the queen what? sometime soon. Oh. I actually wanted to go left, but. Oh, I guess you can't go left. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't want to go, anyways. Mm. That, that didn't accomplish anything. Oh, okay. You would never desecrate a war memorial. Oh, uh, wanna bet? <laughs> Just kidding. You walk into the eastern part of Cran Naoim. You can see an old monastery and a potion store here, amongst many other homes and residences. Oh, we're, we're so tiny now. Can you can't go there? just go barging into these homes. The queen isn't going to go hiding in someone's home. Why not? The houses. I bet she's somewhere in the city. That's the last place we would look. It's right under our the noses. The houses of the fairy citizens are built in harmony with the environment around them. Yeah, it emits harmony. Hello, and welcome to my potion shop. Please let me know if I can help. Oh, who's this? Open book. There's an open book and scroll over here on the windowsill. Oh, I thought it was an, like... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was an open spell, like scroll. 
You thumb through the book a bit, but it's all about potions and their creation. You don't understand most of it. A small round window lets in light from outside. It would. Various items are neatly placed upon these shelves. Some you recognize, others you don't. Such as? Um. I don't know what this is. What is it? This is a thermos? Some gold nuggets? Books? I don't know. Just some random stuff. Various items are neatly. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, is that it? Is there nothing else to interact with? Alright. The lady working in this shop is simply beautiful. Oh, yeah. Hello, shopkeeper. I'm Finn the Bard. Welcome to my shop, good bard. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to trade with you right now. I'm in the middle of trying to make some new potions. That's okay. I'm actually looking for the queen. I'm taking part in the king's challenge. Oh, that's terribly exciting! It is! How can I help you? Um, yeah, do you have any potions that would lead to her? What can you tell me about potions? Potions are wonderful things. They can heal the sick, help the wounded, even give people inspirations when they're feeling down. What can you tell me about a restore potion? Well, I don't have any of my own made right now. I'm all out of Yuli juice, which is the main component. I'd also need a large piece of fruit. And then I have to take the potion to some of the magic crystals that grow in this valley. That's the magic of this game, is just the random shit in it <laughs> to make uh, potions and stuff. What can you tell me about crystals? They hum with the power of the earth, which gives the potions their full potency. I can give you the potion, but you have to make sure to set it amongst the crystals. You'll know by the reaction if the potion is at full potency and ready to be used. Hmm. What can you tell me about the queen? Yeah, the queen have you seen her? is truly the king's match, equal in news. She is clever and cunning, and definitely helped him plan this year's challenge. What can you tell me about dating you? What can you tell me about Cranberry? The city is my home. Goodbye. Farewell, Finn the Bard. Best of luck on your quest. I thought she had like a line of suitors waiting to uh, marry her or whatever it is you do in medieval times. <laughs> Let's make her happy. Although she seems pretty happy already. I'm just gonna try this everywhere to make everyone happy. I'm a jolly Such fellow. Such a nice song. Oh, she doesn't care. Wait, let me check what these were. Oh, this was shield of Cousin, Cousin, whatever. <laughs> bow, bow. Blessings of mead. Okay, so this one makes you happy. This one is for the tavern or drunks or something. And this is a shield. I want to keep it on easy at the moment. So I guess that's. Uh, this that's okay. is the potion shop of the village. You can't just go barge. You enter the old and neglected monastery. Yeah, let's go see it. Oh, it is neglected. Wow. There are large stone pillars here supporting the structure of the monastery. Is there anything else? It's a small window letting in some light from outside. Uh, it's altar? a small altar to the forgotten god. <clears throat> the monk probably uses it when he's meditating. Is there just one monk? The old monk looks quite venerable. Greetings, young bard. I am Brother Kunshen. Welcome to our monastery. What's left of it for certain? The pleasure is mine, sir. I don't suppose you have seen the queen. Ha! No, dear boy. You must be more clever than that for the king's challenge. I know. 
but it never hurts to ask. Sometimes the answers are more simple than others make them out to be. Right you are. Well, I'm still working on repairs for this place. Take a look around. Have a rest if you need it. The Order of the Thorn serves all who would need its help. Tell me about the game. The game series. Tell me about the Order of the Thorn. Well, that is a long and involved story for sure. Well, my father was Denal of Galway. I was told he was a friend to the Order. Indeed he was. Which means you must be Finn. Yes, All right. yes I am. Your father was a great man. I spent much time with him in our battles against evil. He was not only the finest musician I ever knew, he could also turn a phrase like no one else. The stories he wove in his songs are those of legend. We all certainly miss him. None more than I. I am sure of that, my son. Yeah, I wonder if we are descendants of uh, Bobbin Thread there, the guy from Loom. Tell me about Cran The Fairy Kingdom and its fairest city are a wonderful place. I've only come to live here recently, but in the past few months I've come to love the land and its people. Wait, what accent was that? Let me, let me hear it again. Tell me about Cran The Fairy Kingdom and its fairest city are a wonderful place. I've only come to live here recently, but in the past few months, I've come to love the land and its people. His accent got a little bit Russian there. Goodbye. Best to you, Thin the Bard. The Best Order to you. is always here for you. I will help you. So is that it? This old monastery has seen better days, but you believe it to be a chapel of the Order of the Thorn. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. We should. We should. You. We should do this. We should. Show the gold coin. Maybe he will help us. Oh, thank you. Uh, but I do not need anything. I do. A oh. Those uh, two. What about the map? Can you no, thank you. Uh oh, okay. He doesn't want to help us. What if I show her this coin? It's just an excuse to see her again. <laughs> she won't want that. Okay. <laughs> so, is this it? Have we explored the whole town? Can we, can we, can we just leave? Can we re-enter this place? Oh, uh, I should probably save. In the village, well, in the, the town, that sounds better. Imho. Kingsguard. The guards are dressed in metal and leather armor which covers their green tunics. In contrast with the other folk you've seen, these guards have stern, rigid looks on their faces. All around me are stern the guards and frigid are faces. De -de -de -de. The fairy Further king. Further into the tree, you see the fairy king sitting upon his throne of light. Can we go there? Can we just be here? The guard stands vigilant over the king. Within the pulsating light, the king is sitting upon his throne. The light seems to draw power from the king and upwards into the great tree. Okay. Wait. Um. The throne room. room of the king is carved from the middle of this great tree. It truly is quite impressive. Yeah, no arguments there. There is light surrounding the king. I would be careful if I were you. If you disturb the light, the tree shall feed upon your energy as well. The great tree? It feeds on your energy? Yes, dear boy. The life of this village and tree are bound to me as long as I sit on the throne. Uh, pardon me, sire. I'm not from around here. I've only recently come to your fine land. No harm is done, dear boy. The fairy realm and the king's court are kept safe by the magic of the great tree which in turn renews its power through this throne. 
I don't mean to pry, Majesty, but does it hurt? No, no, stranger. It is a burden I gladly bear. Thank you very much, sire. No problem, dear boy. Now, what can I help you with? What is your wife? <laughs> how are you, Your Majesty? I am well, and eager to see how this year's challenge will proceed. You all seem like a clever bunch. Tell me about Cran Eowyn. Our fair village is the jewel of the fairy realm. All life in this land springs from this great tree, and I'm proud of our inhabitants. They are all good and decent people, who give and trade freely of themselves to those worthy enough to receive it. What can you tell me about the King's Challenge? This is an ancient tradition, started by my father's 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 father. While we fairies live in peace, we realize the importance of vigilance, and we wanted to always encourage heroes to rise and serve not only the people of the fairy realm, but all of Ur. Many of these heroes have preserved the peace that was hard won by the Order of the Fawn many, many years ago. Oh! Wall of options. What can you tell me about the forest? Our forest is lovely and filled with wonder. You won't find much danger in it, but you may discover several tricky situations or people. Uh, what about the swamp? What can you tell me about the swamp? The swamp is dangerous, however. It is filled with many fierce animals who call it home. They are not evil by design, but merely animals protecting their home. Alright, that's fair. I can dig that. What can you tell me about the Order of the Thorn? The Ancient Order of the Thorn is one of the most important groups of people in all of Oya. Not only are there sword knights of the Order, who patrol the lands to mete out justice and right, there are many others. The Order has monasteries in almost every major city in Oya. We have one here, in fact. Brother Kunjan lives and runs the monastery in the east part of town. Yeah, it's pretty run down. What can you tell me about the Queen? Ah, my Queen. She is as beautiful as she is wise and clever. She loves this yearly challenge as much as I. In fact, she jumped at the chance to be a part of it this year. I should return to my search for the Queen, Majesty. Farewell. Goodbye, dear thing. May you have great luck in your quest. And since we're at the Kings, let's play him something. Oh, I need to. Ah, uh, okay. Let's impress him. Let's loot hard. Yay, look at him go! Yay! Such a nice song. Oh, well played. Oh, he does care. I do so enjoy hearing your music. But you must keep exploring if you want to find the queen. Okay. I'll leave you to it. And in fact, I think I will be leaving uh, you guys as well. <laughs> for today's episode. So, yeah, we we see we saw all of this, all, all that there is to see in the town. And uh ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a good place to stop. You reach the base of the hill when you notice a mischievous pixie swooping down towards you. Ah, my lord. What did I do? I fucked it up. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, hey, give that back. Give what back? <laughs> Silly bard, it's mine now. I keep it. Pixie. Oh, we know where the pixie that tree pixie is. pixie stole your book of songs. That was my father's book. I need that to be able to play most of my songs. <laughs> it's mine now, little bard. Better learn some new songs. Better learn some new songs. Oh my lord. Well, we have our main quest now. Get back our songbook. Alright guys, and girls, I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.